What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new product from Grip Edge. It is their socket extractors. I'm going to explain these to you, what they're used for, and why you need to add these to your toolbox. Let's get it. All right guys, so like I mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna to be looking at a brand new product from Grip Edge. It is their socket extractors. I'm gonna be going over these, the sets that they offer and the features and functions, why these will be a valuable addition to your toolbox. Recently, there's been a lot of, I guess you could say drama around the Grip Edge tool line. Um, so I'm just gonna come out and clear the air for everybody because I've read a lot of comments about uh, Mac dealers saying these are not the same thing. So the truth of the matter is, these are the exact same tools made in the exact same factory under the exact same patent that carries the exact same warranty. Um, we've showed these socket extractors. These here are the Mac socket extractors. As you can see, the Mac logo on them. We've showed these several times on the channel and they're amazing tools. These are labeled RBRT. The grip edge is labeled RPT for rounding prevention technology. So there's been a lot of comments on the videos and a lot of people said, I don't have a Mac dealer. I don't have way to access these tools, blah, blah, blah. 10,000 excuses. So grip edge, the original maker of the Mac sockets and, and bits that sold on the RBRT line launched these under their own brand. So they're readily available to everybody, whether you have a Mac truck or not, now you can purchase these tools. So that's a great, I guess, win for everybody in the tool world that's been looking for this line of tools and never had access to them. So enough about the history of the product, let's talk about the product itself um, and why you need these. Because I had a lot of guys say, oh, I don't really need those. I've got the bolt biters or I've got the turbo set or I've got twist sockets. Um, these are totally different. Uh, some of the similarities are the same as far as they can remount, remove rounded bolts, but really nobody claims to remove a 100% rounded bolt. Uh, and, and I know these will do this and I will demo it later in the video for you guys because they're designed to remove studs as well as remount, rounded bolts or nuts. And the cool thing is they don't damage the studs. You can still thread a nut on them as I'll show you later when we do the demonstration. It does not affect the threads. You can still reuse that stud if you need to. Um, some of the cool features on the grip edge socket extractors, they're bi-directional. Um, and the good thing about that is if you're working out in the field and you got a piece of equipment that's got a damage faster and you have to remove it, there's not a replacement handy. You don't have to down that piece of equipment. You can simply put the bolt back in it with the socket extractor, use the FOR screw to push the socket back off the extractor, keep running the piece of equipment until you have another fastener that you can replace it with later. Um, this is a really cool tool. Obviously, if you've used any other extraction sockets, whether it be a turbo socket or a bolt binder or any other turbo type socket on the market, you know removing the bolt or the nut out of the socket is one of the most aggravating parts of it. And a lot of times you'll damage your socket in the process. That's where this pusher screw comes in perfectly for that reason. It simply threads into the back. So let's say this is your damaged bolt. It threads into the back. And it will push the damaged piece out. And that way you don't damage your socket in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So that's how that works. Um, it's a really cool feature that they've built into these sockets. And it's going to help you guys, right? Because obviously if a bolt or a nut is rounded off, that means it's probably extremely tight. 
So you have to do that little dance where you go a little left, you turn it back a little right, you go a little left, you turn it back a little right. In many cases, you actually need to apply heat. Obviously, that's going to damage your regular sockets. Where these, you can pull them off, heat your bolt or your nut, hammer it back on, go to work. Um, that's another important feature about these. These are actually designed to hammer on. If you notice on bolt biters or many other extraction sockets, you're not supposed to hammer on them. These, they built them to do just that. You drive them on the fastener, you remove it, you pop the screw in it, life's good, everybody's happy. So that kind of gives you a rundown of what the tool does. And like I say, we will have a demonstration where we move a round, rounded bolt and use it on a, you know, a threaded stud and run a nut back on it. So I'm gonna cover the, the sets real quick and that way you guys kind of know what to expect um, in your sizes. We're gonna start out with the SAE size. This is a 3 16 and it goes up to a one half and it comes with two different size pusher screws, obviously for your four smaller ones. And then the larger pusher screw here is used for the bigger ones. But once again, 3 16 to one half inch in the quarter drive SAE set. The 3 8 SAE set goes from a 3 8 up to a 3 quarter um, and it comes with one pusher screw because it fits all the sizes. So that's your SAE lineup. Your metric set also comes with two different pusher screws, a small and a large, obviously for the four small ones and then the larger ones here, but it goes from a four millimeter up to a 12 millimeter. And uh, they've got really nice rails. You can see they've got the little plastic quarter inch square peg sockets go on it. It is a magnetic fit. Really nice rails that come with these. So that is the quarter inch drive metric. The three eighths drive metric set and this is by far my favorite set because it covers pretty much everything you're gonna need on a daily basis. It's a 10 millimeter. Surely you guys have never run across a strip 10 before, but a 10 millimeter up to a 19, no skip sizes, one complete set, one pusher rod does it all. So very, very nice sets that they've come up with. Obviously the box, gives you all the info that you need, the sizes, each individual part number. So if you have one that's damaged, you can contact Grip Edge or your, your dealer that sold it to you and get a replacement. Um, they do offer a lifetime warranty. They do work on a, up to 100% rounded screws, bolts, nuts, whatever. These will do it. Each one of the packages comes with instructions as well as some stickers. For you guys that love stickers, here you go. But as I promised, we're gonna go in the shop. We're gonna give you a real life demo of a rounded bolt. We're gonna use it on a stud that's threaded and we're going to thread a nut back on it to show you those no, there's no damage at all to it. Um, hopefully this clears the air about the difference between Grip Edge and Mac RBRT because there's been some horrendous comments and a lot of jealousy. And I understand if you're a Mac dealer, I'm pretty sure that does bother you that Grip Edge come out with it, but you need to understand at the end of the day, there's millions of people in this world that could benefit from this product. And I'm very proud to see that Grip Edge has come out with it and made it available to everybody because not everybody's got a Mac truck. So let's go take a look at this and show you guys how awesome this product is. All right guys, so the first thing we've got that we want to demo is this is a bolt in the vise upside down and we're going to demonstrate it being used as a stud removal and show you that you can still put a nut back on it. So obviously the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put our socket extractor on it, we're going to get it straight and we're going to hammer it on. All right. So we've got that on. We'll simply take our ratchet 
Obviously, I'm not going to be able to turn it out of here because it's locked in, but I'm going to show you that it does bite. That's pushing it in the loosening position. This will be in the tightening position to show you that it'll work either way. And I could break this stud off here or break the anvil out of my ratchet. Either one that I wanted to do because it bites extremely well. So we'll take that out. We'll put our pusher rod in here to show you once you remove it, you can get it out. Let me adjust my camera up. All right, so we simply take a 12 millimeter and we're going to tighten this pusher rod down and you can see that it's removing the socket from the stud. Now you can see there is some lines that is on the stud itself. I'll zoom in so you can see it. But you can still thread a nut on there, no problem. It does not affect it whatsoever in the way it functions. So that's its use as a stud removal tool. And I'll get it closer. That way you can see, even though it puts the lines in there, it does not impede with the nut being threaded back on it. So the next portion I wanna show you is how it works to remove rounded bolts. Okay. So obviously what I have done is I have stripped this in a grinder and you can see it's extremely round. No normal socket would get that off. So what we're going to do is put that in our vise, lock it down. We're going to take whatever size socket that would fit that thing the best. I need to go up one. Here we go. So that is a 14. So what I'm simply gonna do, drive that down on there, put my 3 8 drive ratchet in there, reverse is very tight. Back this up. And it will bite in the forward position as well. So what I'm gonna do is purposely, well, let me show you this, you know, cause this is kind of an important thing when you're dealing with a strip bolt, obviously it's tight for a reason. So a lot of times you may have to go back and forth, play that little dance game, a little forward, a little backwards to try to get it out. And you may actually need to apply heat. So that's one of the advantages of the grip edge stuff you can thread your socket back off of there. You can apply heat to it. And then you can put it back on. Obviously you don't want to heat your socket on the bolt, but let's say you needed to apply heat to this project to get it loose. You could heat it there, get it good and hot, ready to go. Go ahead and tap your socket back on there and go back to the little dance of forwards. Uh, it's too tight. Let's go back the other way a little bit. Oh, it's too tight. But to show you the biting force, I will break this bolt off on purpose. I think it's slipping in my bias. Still spinning. Okay, there it goes, it broke. So there's the bottom half of the bolt. It broke off and there's the top half. So once again, to get that out of your socket, you could use an adjustable wrench or you can use a pair of Knipex or whatever makes 
you happy to hold the socket. Uh, I'll just use these baby Knipex. And there's our rounded, broken bolt. As you see, no damage to the internals of our socket, thanks to the pusher rod. There's the broken head of the bolt. You can see where I tapped it on there a couple of different times. And it bit into it. These sockets, are truly a game changer. All right guys, so you see how great the product works. So now we're gonna kind of talk about the price and obviously I'm not going to compare these against the Mac price. You guys are grown up, you understand there's a cost difference there. Um, so you can make your own decisions and do your own research on that. But we're gonna talk about the price of the grip edge stuff to show you the value in these tools. Both quarter inch sets, the metric and the standard, both retail for $169.99. So that's a pretty good price on those. The metric set in three eighths is a 10 piece set, 10 to 19, no skips. That is by far my favorite set. It retails for $219.99. And the SAE set is a seven piece, three eighths drive set, the three eighths up to three quarter. Um, and it retails for $164.99. So you can see the value of these, especially if you price it against some of the other extractor sets that's on the market that claim to work as well. Um, they're great tools, they're great products. You know, I've used the, the RBRT version for quite some time. These are no different. They're gonna work the same. They're just released, so we're kind of looking forward to having this lineup as well. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me what's better, these or bolt biters or turbo sockets or whatever. Hands down, these are going to grip stuff better, as you've seen in the demo. Um, obviously, there's pros and cons to every single extractor set on the market because every situation dictates something different depending on how you need it to use, how much space you've got, blah, blah, blah. You guys know what I'm talking about. There's sometimes, you know, you could fit a sledgehammer in there to get a hold of stuff. And then there's other times you barely can get your fingers in there. So no extraction set is the one set will fit everything in the world. I'm not gonna stand here and lie to you and tell you that these are the only extraction sets you're gonna need or the bolt biters or the turbo sockets or whatever. Every situation is different. Obviously you guys work on stuff. You've dealt with strip bolts. You know how aggravating it can be. Um, like I say, these are designed to hammer on, the bolt biters are not. You know, I can, I can go that far to say. Uh, you know, there's, there are situations where these will definitely 100% work better in the situation that you need to remove a strip bolt, nut, stud, whatever. You may not have access to hammer them on. So I'm not going to stand here and tell you that these will work in every situation because obviously if you can't fit a way to hammer on these sockets, you're going to have issues with it. But if you can get in there and you can tap these bad boys on, even if you need to put, <clears throat> you know, an extension in the back of these and hammer the extension to get them on, these are a better choice. But just keep that in mind because I know that you're going to have every tool dealer in the world trying to sell you whatever brand of socket extractors they have but none of them will work like these if you can get them drove on to what you're trying to remove. 
So that's my video today, guys. Um, if you've got a tool dealer and he's looking at carrying these tools, obviously they can be purchased through Mobile Tool Network. It's free for your dealer to sign up. He can just order what he needs. He's not obligated by anything to purchase large amounts to qualify for the shipping. So have him check out Mobile Tool Network. It is mtn.tools is the web address. That's no www, no .com, mtn.tools. So if you're looking for this and you got a tool dealer, he can go that route. These will be available through Grip Edge's website. Um, you can check that out and I'm pretty sure they will have them available on Amazon pretty soon. And they're actually controlling the Amazon store themselves. So you don't have to worry about third party resellers. It's gonna give you a hard time if you go that route to purchase them and not get warranty. So I'm glad to see that Grip Edge is kind of taking that by the reins. They're running their own Amazon store, so <clears throat> you know it's bound to work out better. Anyway, that's my video, guys. Hopefully you liked it. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Some merchandise is down here. Cool tools and discount codes is in the description. We've added some brand new links to products. And if you're not subscribed, all you do is click that button. It's totally free, never costs you a dime. That way you never miss the latest, greatest tools. You guys have a great week. See ya.